Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be the next baseball video talking about two solid minor league relief pitchers the Padres decided to bring into their organization. But first and foremost, before we get into it, please continue to subscribe down below or above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing. As I've said in other videos, relief pitching tends to be the most up and down thing in the sport of baseball. It's all about finding guys that just have the good motions and the good movement on their pitches and then trying to develop them into the confidence and the location of the big leagues as well as the control of the big leagues where it seems like the Padres might be able to get one of these two to develop into maybe a extra arm out of the bullpen for them where Aaron Northcraft who they got to start with him uh, he throws primarily a sinker a changeup and a slider which will mix in his fastball uh, which gets up to 89. He's not a velo guy. He's a guy that's going to get you to ground in the double plays and to try to get you out via ground ball and try to um play to contact. Uh, he's been very good his entire minor league career, uh, just under a 4 ERA, where Taylor Scott, um, he's a guy that has a good sinker, which more of the velo at 94 miles per hour, slider at 89, and then mixes in that four-seam fastball to get a pass you. At 95, uh, Taylor Scott used to play uh, for Baltimore. Now he'll be going to the Padres. He profiles as more of a today's game pitcher where they have more of the speed and the movement on the pitches where Northcraft profiles more just a overall throughout the years of baseball pitcher, relief pitcher that throws in the high 80s that just pitches to contact. Where nowadays you have more guys like Scott that pitch more for strikeout compared to guys like Northcraft who are more old school, excuse me, and pitch more to contact. But both are really good to have. And I would say just from getting to see Scott more um, with the Orioles and stuff and seeing him develop, he has a little bit more ways to go from and from being able to find research and uh, highlights in North Carolina from seeing him pitch a couple times. And I actually watched the one game he pitched in for <clears throat> um, in the big leagues uh, in the past. I think he's a guy that is going to continue to get better because last year in one of the games he pitched, I remember he came in in a, I, can't, I think it was like first, and so, it was it was some spot that for a young guy that's been a career minor leaguer, you wouldn't expect them to come in and really quickly get out of, I believe it was first and second, it might have been second and third for the Padres, but he kind of just came in, got the contact outs, was able to get out of the inning and do his thing, and I think he's a guy, just because he's a location guy, if you can continue to have him be a good location specialist, he's been a career minor leaguer, he's been fighting his butt off to try to get up there, he might be the guy that has the better chance to stick, because all you have to do is get him to continue to pitch it in the zone, and just let his sinker, and the movement of his sinker kind of do its thing, plus the movement of his slider and change up to do its thing, and then you're going to get the double plays from him, and he could be the perfect reliever, where Scott has to really hone in the strike zone, and really rely more on on strikeouts. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a quick video on Aaron Northcraft and Taylor Scott agreeing to contracts with the <clears throat> with the San Diego Padres. As Aaron Northcraft, I think, is a smart guy for the San Diego Padres to keep around since last year he pitched really good for them in a handful of games. And then Scott's just a solid guy to bring in since they already see a guy like Northcraft, who's been a career minor leaguer, that they brought up, had success with them. Uh, last year and, and was able to get going at the big league level in a small sample size of five games. That's what they're probably hoping Scott can do at least by the end of the season and maybe build on him and have him be a guy they can re-sign after next season to try to build into the rotation, like I or not the rotation, the bullpen, uh, and have him be a guy that they think is going to slot in there going into the season, which is something they might envision for Northcraft coming into this season. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please subscribe down below to keep the channel growing.